conjugal loves, love, but does not follow in the footsteps of the gopis, he is promoted to association with the Lord at Dwaraka. In the Mahakurma Purana it is stated, great sages who were the sons of fire gods rigidly followed the regulative principles in their desire to have conjugal love for Krishna. As such, in their next lives they were able to associate with the Lord, the origin of all creation, who is known as Vasudev or Krishna, and all of them got him as their husband. So I think uh, it would be a good time to ask for questions. Huh? Are there any questions so far? No. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and read the next section, finish up the chapter. But you all be thinking of your questions and, and uh, put them in the, in the chat, and then we'll address them when we finish this. It's just a couple paragraphs. The next section is titled Parenthood or Friendship. Devotees who are attracted to Krishna as parents or as friends should follow in the footsteps of Nanda Maharaj or Subal, respectively. Nanda Maharaj is the foster father of Krishna, and out of all the friends of Krishna, Subal is the most intimate in Vrajabhumi. In the development of becoming either the father or friend of the Lord, there are two varieties. One method is that one may try to become the father of the Lord directly. And the other is that, may, is that one may follow Nanda Maharaj and cherish the ideal of being Krishna's father. Out of these two, the attempt to directly become the father of Krishna is not recommended. Such a development can become <coughs> excuse me, polluted with Mayavadi impersonal philosophy. The Mayavadis or monists think that they themselves are Krishna. And if one thinks that he himself has become Nanda Maharaj, then his parental love will become contaminated with Mayavadi philosophy. The Mayavada philosophical way of thinking is offensive, and no offender can enter into the kingdom of God to associate with Krishna. In the Skanda Purana, there is a story of an old man residing in Hastinapur, the capital of the kingdom of the Pandus, who desired Krishna as his beloved son. This old man was instructed by Narada to follow in the footsteps of Nanda Maharaj, and thus he achieved success. There is a statement in the Narayana, uh, sorry, Narayana Vyuha Stava prayers that persons who are always engaged in thinking of the Lord as their husband, friend, father or well-wisher, are always worshipable by everyone. This spontaneous love for Krishna can be developed only by the special mercy of Krishna or his pure devotee. This process of devotional service is sometimes called Pushti Marga. The Pushti Margis are a group of devotees that come from Gujarat state in India, and their ideal is to follow in the footsteps of the parents, Nanda Maharaj or Yashoda Mai. Pushti means nourishing, and Marga means path. Such development of sentiment nourishes devotional service to the highest standard. Thus it is called the path of nourishment, or Pushti Marga. The Vallabha Sampradaya, which belongs to the Vishnu Swami sect of Vaishnava religion, worships Krishna in this Pushti Marga. Generally, devotees in Gujarat worship Baal Krishna under this heading of Pushti Marga. The Pushti Margis are very nice devotees. Unfortunately, they have no interest in preaching in the English language. <laughs> so all of their temples, all of their books, all their services and everything is in Gujarati. So even they have temples in the U.S. Yeah, the Pushti Margis. Uh -huh. Do you know where they have the temples? I uh, no, not offhand. But I know that Govinda Dasi used to go and hang out with them. Uh, but anyway, all their stuff is in Gujarati. <laughs> you can't understand a word of it. 